when your favorite uh, TV show is on. Guys, Mr. T Loxify back. And in today's video, I'm coming at you guys with another zombies video. And in this one, this is going to be the top five things Exo Zombies did, right? So I do hope you guys enjoy this one. But anyways, let's head out straight into our number five spot. And in today's video, this is going to be the storyline and also the Easter egg. Now, with the Exo Zombie storyline, it's very cryptic, and a lot of people can agree with me on that because we don't necessarily know the whole end goal or the main objective of these four new characters and what Atlas wants to do and what Sentinel wants to do and there's many theory videos out there of what they're trying to do it's very interesting and I think a cryptic storyline always makes the viewers or the fans engage more into the actual game mode as for something like zombies this is very common and we also see similar aspects to this in something like Five Nights at Freddy's and people love the storyline in that so I believe if you have a cryptic storyline that isn't just given to you on a platter the people are absolutely gonna love it now also with the Easter eggs for exo zombies my goodness they are very creative that's something for sure but they also have a very good sense of storyline integration like the one in carrier can't really say too much for infection but outbreak and in carrier definitely did have a lot of good Easter egg integrations and especially on carrier because it's sort of like Oz's last sort of will of where you're learning about everything from his diaries and stuff. It's very cool, very interesting and I absolutely love it and they're also a lot of fun to do solo and there actually are solo easter eggs. You can do them solo on every single map in Exo Zombies and DLC 4 will definitely continue this trend even though the fourth DLC isn't out yet so I think that's really awesome but anyways guys let's head on straight into our number 4 spot and in today's video this is going to be grenades. Now now my goodness, the grenades in Exo Zombies are done absolutely perfectly. They're so strong compared to the ones in Treyarch, it is absolutely ridiculous. And especially with one of my favorite little tiny additions they added to this, is that they made the contact grenade so strong and also so that it doesn't hurt you. So if you're cornered, you can just shoot one of these on the ground and all the zombies will blow up and you'll have a chance of escaping. Probably one of my favorite grenades of of all time and also the new additions from carrier you got the telefrag which is probably even better than the monkey bomb in certain cases and again you have the distraction drone you have many different additions that really just sort of cultivates everything and makes it a lot better I find that just using all the stuff like the nano swarm even too they're all great and they're all very much needed and I love how the distraction drone it actually shoots out immediately it's not like in the one in track where you like playing with the monkey bomb and then you decide to to throw it like five years later but that's the thing I really like about the grenades they're very strong and also with the exo stockpile you're able to hold more grenades which is why in Treyarch if they added exo stockpile or a variation of it I wouldn't be too happy because the grenades in Treyarch zombies are very bad but the ones in exo zombies are so powerful like you can use these up to like round 30 and they're still useful they're great especially with, especially with the whole new grenade disposal system uh, as a new addition in carrier that's really helpful because you know you always have spare grenades and why not get some extra cash for those grenades so honestly great job exo zombies on the grenades definitely one of the big highlights of exo zombies so anyways guys let's head on straight into our number three spot and in today's video this is going to be the traps in exo zombies now there wasn't too much from outbreak that had to do with traps there was the whole new power up uh from uh, i think it was security that was introduced into outbreak and this activates all the traps on the map. This is such a great idea and honestly I could see Treyarch really using this power up as something for Black Ops 3 and could have easily been in integrated even back all the way in World at War uh, because there's always just a bunch of traps around that no one really uses and this power up just really helps out with that. Also the main strategy of getting to high rounds on Exo Zombies is using the traps and especially with maps like Infection that introduce one of the coolest traps traps out there like you got an instigator this thing just goes around the sewer and just eats zombies you have a car alarm uh, you have the electric trap which pre patch used to give you as much uh, or as much money as actually mealing the zombies which is really cool and also you have just uh, the orbital strike 
at Burger Town and then in Carrier you have security again coming back and you got the moon pool sort of water spouts you have these turrets on the walls that are killing zombies you have so much different stuff you have the whole sort of thing that drives around and mows down zombies literally mows them down probably one of the most innovative and unique ideas that we've seen for traps ever in the whole zombie saga and that Treyarch can't really compete with like for example Mob of the Dead only had like the acid gat and the fly sort of fan trap again that's it though but exo zombies it's all about those traps baby and that is how they get to high round so definitely Treyarch can take some good points on innovation for their trap systems but anyways guys let's head on straight into our number two spot and in today's video, this is going to be the perk system slash power-ups. Now, if there's one thing that Exo Zombies did absolutely perfectly is the perk innovations. Absolutely astounding. They took everything from Treyarch Zombies that was bad about perks and they made it even better. So, for example, they turned down the price from the Speed Cola uh, from 3,000 points to 2,000 points, which was absolutely needed. They added Exo Stockpile, which is a great perk for Carrier and I can't wait until they add the next one for the fourth DLC of Exo Zombies. Again, they also have a thing where if you actually die out, you have a tombstone so you can actually just pick up your weapon. That's how tombstone should have been integrated from the beginning, Treyarch, not as a stupid ass perk that you have to buy. Unbelievable. And then also, you can, there's no perk limit. That's another thing. There's no perk limit so you can get every single perk. There's no four perk stupid cap limit. That bullshit pisses me off. But guys, oh, beautiful. The perk system and also also, when you down, I love it how it doesn't completely remove all your perks. It gradually removes the top one and then slowly goes down until you die out. Probably one of the best things out there. So if you buy Juggernaut first and Exo Zombies or Exo Health, you're pretty much going to keep it for the whole game if you have all the other perks, sort of as a barrier to protect that perk. And I really love it. The only downside I wish they would have added is colorful perks, but I understand it's Exo Zombies. They sort of want a more monotone, electric-y, futuristic look. And guys, another thing about this is the power-ups. My goodness, Exo Zombies added three new innovative power-ups that are actually useful. And that is very, very surprising. One is security, which is absolutely great, and I have no idea why they didn't add it into infection. But I digress. The next one was explosive touch. Again, we've been seeing something like this and a lot of variations like this in custom zombies. And also open fire. Again, we've also seen this in custom zombies. And for them to finally integrate something like this into Exo Zombies and will definitely this is awesome because this will definitely make an appearance for Treyarch Zombies and I think it'll be absolutely amazing again great job great innovation I love it Exo Zombies show me something great for DLC 4 but anyways guys let's head on straight into the number one spot of Exo Zombies and in today's video this is going to be Carrier. Now honestly, without this map, and if this DLC 3 map was not good, I probably would have given up all hope after Exo Zombies Infection was a big flop, and I think not just in my opinion, but a lot of other people's opinions, guys. Because with Carrier, it added a good wonder weapon, that was one thing. Great equipment like the Exo, uh, sort of the Telefrags, I mean. You got the Exo Stockpile perk in addition, you got new power-ups, you got do a new a character, you got a whole new set of stuff and innovation and I don't know why they didn't add any of this for uh, sort of infection because I feel like they wanted to make it as a part two of Outbreak but still guys still I wish that they would have added more integration for infection and now with a uh, carrier coming out I'm very very excited to see what DLC 4 has in store for us because if this is what DLC 3 is you can expect some great great stuff for DLC 4 and guys honestly carrier is probably one of the only maps that I think of randomly and I'm like hey I really want to go back and play carrier like it's a fun map like the replayability value is definitely there and I can't say that for the other two maps like I never just say oh yeah I want to play outbreak or infection no no it's just carrier guys so carrier is why this is on the list it's so just a huge redemption factor for exo zombies and that's pretty much it guys so I do hope you enjoy the video if you did please make sure to leave a like again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe let's see if we hit 25 other likes for the next zombies video again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one